Hi, this is a job review analysis presentation, and I'm the presenter Zi Linglu. I have an undergraduate degree in finance. Currently, I'm a master student majored in business analytics from Columbia University. I am aspiring to work as a data scientist in a technology firm. I'm very interested in natural language processing and data visualization. In this project, I worked with a large dataset sourced from Glassdoor, containing user reviews and rankings on different positions from various industries. My aim was to explore interesting patterns and trends in the job market, predict ratings based on user reviews using natural language processing techniques, and build a user interface for the project. In the past few weeks, I gained valuable experience in natural language processing and user interaction. I learned how to use a powerful tool called Streamlit to create a user-friendly interface that allows users to interact with the project's findings, explore the data, and utilize the machine learning model in a meaningful way. To be more specific, I worked on three main components: exploratory data analysis, machine learning. And user interface design. In the first part, I dealt with duplicates and missing values. I also performed multivariate analysis to identify company-wise and role-wise patterns in the data. For machine learning, I tried different ways to address the issue of unbalanced data set and construct the text matrix. I also experimented with different pre-processing techniques such as stopwords removal and stemming. Through these experiments, I was able to improve the weighted average F1 score of the multi-classification model and generate more meaningful rating predictions. For user interface design, let's see the video I recorded. So this is the job reviews analyzer. On the left, you can see there is a sidebar where you can select the company, the job title, the locations that you are interested in. On the right. Uh, you can visualize all the results of your analysis. Okay, now let me show how it works. For example, if I type in Apple here, then I can see all the unique job titles of Apple. I can select multiple job titles as I want. Here, for simplicity, I will clear all of them and just use Apple to do the analysis. The location option works in the same logic. Below the currently selected data, you can see how many reviews are selected and how many unique companies, job titles, and locations are included. If you click this button here, you can view all the data that the following analysis would be based on. Okay, let me wrap it up and let's jump into the exciting part. The first graph shows the average rating of your selected reviews across different aspects. You can also sort these ratings from high to low. Great, it works. I can also compare Apple's rating with another company. A new selection field will appear. Let's try maybe Microsoft. Okay, so the original green bar represents Apple, and the new blue bar represents Microsoft. We can see that Microsoft has greater career opportunities and work-life balance, while Apple has higher rating in terms of cultural values and company benefits. The average sentiment analysis shows a bar plot of polarity and subjectivity. Let's try to use a different company for the top frequent noun phrases analysis and word cloud analysis. In the original database, there is a pros column, a cons column, a headline column, so you can choose from different pieces of text. If you choose all, it will combine pros, cons, and headline together. You can also modify the number of top phrases that you want to see from the graph. Here I make it from 15 to 20, so you can see the change in the graph. It has more bars. Those bars are sorted from high to low, so it's very easy for you to see which noun phrases appear the most often in the review. In the word cloud analysis part, you can also choose a piece of text you want to analyze and the maximum number of words you want to see from the graph. 
So in the last part, I incorporate the machine learning model here. The three boxes correspond to headline, pros, and cons. You can see that I already typed in some words. If I uh, click the submit button here, I will receive a message reminding me that the model works successfully and the project rating would be high. Now let me try to type in something else. Pay is fine. Worst environment, don't come. Now I submit the result. Now the rating is predicted to be the middle level. Okay, so this is all about my user interface presentation. Thanks for watching. In the end, I attached the link for the data set, my codes, and also the Streamlit template. I want to say thank you to Kaggle X for providing me such a great opportunity to learn. And I really appreciate all the guidance of my mentor Anuji. Um, and thank you all for listening.